Just getting set up here for some drilling. Getting the bit ready. We're gonna be popping a hole into this showing here. We call this the new camp zone. And we have sulfides exposed from here all the way over to the edge of the quarry over there at the base, but there's more exposed here as we've dug it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a hole likely right in this area here and uh, hopefully get some good intersections. You can see right there you have semi-massive sulfides, sphalerite, galena, down about uh, 0.75 of a meter now the first little bit was actually really nice you had some nice semi-massive and massive sphalerite with some galena but we're into a muddy dirt like layer and uh, it's clogging the drill bit so we're gonna have to take it out and uh, clean it up and keep going we are in now a meter and a half so let's pull it out grab some core We're hitting lots of layers of silt and mud. We're just having to flush the drill string quite a few times. So here's the showing at a different angle. And we've been drilling in going this way. So we've actually stopped the hole because we hit a uh, green volcanic rock for about a meter and uh, there's not really any signs of sulfides. We did get a really nice interception for the first two meters um, and that was uh, of semi-massive and massive sphalerite and galena. And what we're going to do is just take a look at the core and I'll show you what we've gotten so far. So this is the top 50 centimeters approximately here then we hit this stuff here which is really really soft we thought it was mud but it's actually sulfides so we ended up flushing out all this here uh, to here and this is where your one meter mark started and you can see it's actually just very deteriorated sphalerite galena there was another gap in between here you can see where we flushed it out even more and this would be at the 1.35 meter mark and then again you're back into the massive sulfides sphalerite and galena then we had another little gap where we hit our dirty little sulfide layer and this is about the two meter mark right here. We hit more massive sulfides and then it transitions out of your massive sulfides to a green volcanic rock. And we've pretty much consistently hit that for about a meter now, other than a couple layers of dirty uh, sulfides in between. So we're going to stop this hole. I'm going to clean up this core a little bit. I'll wash it off and we'll get a little better look. So I've watered down a few sections of the core just to show the massive sulfides.
So this is our core for this hole. We're gonna bag and tag it and uh, store it for future analysis. So we actually decided to rip off a big chunk of this outcrop right where the drill hole is. You can see right in there. This is a couple hunks of it right here. You can see the massive sulfides. And right here, you can see the big hunks of galena and sphalerite on the, the back side of it. There's massive sulfides right here. Nice big hunks. We're going to break these open and just take a look at a couple of the pieces. So take a look at this. Drill hole broken in half. But look at these pieces. Just gorgeous. Loaded with sphalerite and galena. Look at that. Stunning pieces, pretty decent core. Pretty happy with that, so we're done here. Thanks for watching.